Alright guys, double wide six and today we're going to be taking a look at a grill that we're going to go through and restore. So this grill happens to be a charbroil gas grill and like a lot of these grills, once uh, they get a little bit dirty and the flame starts burning a little oddly, uh, people just get a new one. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go through and kind of refurb this thing. We'll take a look. There's a uh, pretty heavy iron grates on here. And underneath there's sheet metal. And as you can see, that's all rusted up. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I'm going to use my shop vac and scrape this up with a scraper and shop vac out some of that debris before I get anything wet. So I'm inspecting my burners. These tubes, they all look pretty solid, except for this one back here has a hole. So to get these out of here, there's a pin in the back and you loosen that up. And then up front, I'm having trouble seeing with my camera, but there's a clip up here that you can pop off that has the uh, spark igniter so I'm just popping that clip off and out comes the tube so I went through and inspected all the uh, burning tubes and this is the only one that has a hole so this is where having tools oxyacetylene torch can really pay off for you So this part here, I have that little plate clamped on there, and I'm using some, like, I think it's like a copper coated, it's actually a welding rod. I find better success filling holes using a welding rod rather than a brazing rod. It can kind of bridge the gaps a little better, I find, and it's uh, much stronger. So um, just going through and welding that plate on there and filling uh, a couple little holes that the plate did not cover. And as this cools down here, you can kind of get a view of what's going on. It was pretty hard to see at the angle I filmed the actual welding. That's why I sped through it. So here's a look at the finished product. I ground it down a little bit, but really it looked pretty good right when I was done um, I've seen to have better control with my gas welding and those of you that are just learning how to weld you just gotta do little projects like this these type of things just make you better so I'm pretty happy with the results here alright guys things are going pretty well at this point these things back here are crossover tubes 
And what they do is they allow the gas to come out the side holes, which I still left when I welded that thing up, if you noticed. And the gas will go through here, and then it can escape up here. And it's basically to evenly distribute the gas. So my crossover tubes, when I measure from end to end, they're about six and three eighths or so, six and a half ish in that range. <laughs> um, I'm going to need to order three of these because these are pretty much shot. Um, the top uh, tent things, these are done. This was the first thing that I noticed um, as far as the grill and being rusted, so uh, that's why I started looking at the grill. The uh, bottom tray, surprisingly, is solid as can be, and so are these tubes. These are nice and solid, even though this one had a rust spot. I think that rusted out because of the way the water hits the top. I think there was a drip that was hitting this one. All the other ones look good, including the little holes on the sides. So, um, I already bent some metal. Uh, using my brake at work, I made some new tents. So I just got to cut these guys to fit and install them. And I got to wait on this part to come in, uh, those crossovers. But um, I'm going to use the grill as is until those come in sometime this week. So these uh, tent things, I just folded these up at work. Unfortunately, I called my wife at home to ask her to measure up this thing, and they're a half inch short, so now I'm fixing that. Now they fit. So I have a, like a DIY sheet metal break I made. It was too small for this project. I used my break at work to bend the other sheet metal, but uh, because the pieces were too small, I was cutting one piece and adding three pieces onto the other three, so I had to make a completely new fourth piece. So here I'm just putting in the vise and trying to bend it over basically a little stick. So I'm just brushing on some cooking oil just to season up this grate. I'm probably going to do this about three or four times to get it all soaked in here but the grill is lit and burning real nice so we finished up the job it didn't take too long a little bit longer than expected with our uh, mismeasurement learned a couple things first of all um, I don't like the way this looks and the reason that looks terrible is because that's not real stainless steel um, I tried cleaning it just with a little bit of detergent and a Mr. Clean sponge and right away the uh, finish starts coming off. The top of the grill is stainless steel and that shines up and looks perfect. That's the only part of this grill that's actually stainless. Inside the doors I noticed that they put a stainless peel, steel panel in there and you can see that thing's rusting out so that is fake stainless steel as well. But overall the, the grill's working good. Um, I seasoned it and what that is, is just putting a little bit of oil on there that way you don't have like a new grill taste even though this thing's not new and if you remember one other thing I noticed is where that burner was burned out under there it had that hole in it that I welded that plate on the grill grate right here um, is pretty well worn through okay so this is getting close to needing replacement 
Um, anyhow, what I'm going to do is once this cools down all the way, I'm going to rotate it so that this comes up over here or flip these. They can be flipped. And like I said, I'm pretty sure that there's water coming in and it must be dripping right here and uh, causing that problem. So anyhow, I'm double wide six and I'm going to put a link in the bottom of this video where you guys can get any of the parts you need. Um, I'm going to have to order those parts and put them in later. I still have to burn this in my burn barrel and get the paint off of it. But I wanted to finish up the uh, video for you. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and paint this black. My brother-in-law has a grill like this. And this part is actually black. And I think that will look a lot nicer. Well, I guess I couldn't leave well enough alone. I decided to go through and spray paint it. I masked off just with tape some of the logos and stuff and looks a lot better now that it's paint, painted uh, black at least I think so um, if it were real stainless steel it wouldn't get all dirty like this or at least it would clean up so anyhow check out the link I'll put links to where you can get all the supplies for your grill mine happens to be a charbroil but you can go through and do any type of grill as always, thanks for watching and have a good day. The link's in the description.